But that wasn't the only surprise we had with the votes. What else? <laughs> Somebody that we thought was going to be unanimous <laughs> for comeback player of the year. I didn't think so. A guy that, <laughs> oh, clearly. A guy that we talked about in the podcast that we thought would win comeback player of the year anonymous, or, or excuse me, uh, anonymously. And the NFL voters, even on NFL.com, doing their uh, preview. Yeah predictions of it they even had to win this uh unanimously <sighs> he had 49 out of one vote 49 out of 50 votes alex smith did for comeback player of the year the guy that almost lost his life obviously had the leg injury looked very joe thighs been like and then he got infected while he was in the hospital from there he almost lost his leg and then from there almost losing his leg he almost lost his life but then he made a complete you know return gets on the field five one as a starter leads his team to the playoffs etc doesn't get it unanimous because a certain individual received one vote and that certain individual resides here in pittsburgh pennsylvania <sighs> super bowl champion multiple time quarterback gunslinger himself coming off of a very traumatic injury in its own right ben roffsberger <sighs> and there were reports that started coming out after the fact about this one vote we were all trying to figure out where this vote came from <laughs> and we're gonna get to the bottom of it today so initially i'm thinking okay one vote had to come from a Pittsburgh guy. I told you how Ed Bouchette, I'm like, yo, you know, he's had votes in the past. Typically, he's a voter. It's got to be Ed. Ed clears his name. He goes to Twitter right away. Really? I, I, I can't make this up. He goes to Twitter. He says, 49 out of 50 votes, one vote for Roethlisberger. The one vote didn't come from anybody from Pittsburgh, in terms of any Pittsburgh media guy, because none of us had a vote this year. So I was like, huh, interesting. So it wasn't a media guy. Okay, okay. Or, or, or an official, one of those big wigs. So I got to think, and I said, huh, who in Pittsburgh is computer savvy enough to find a way to crack the code? They could get, you know, some ballot stuffing, ballot altering going on. I said, I know a guy who's pretty nice with the computers. I know a guy. I know, I know him personally. You know, pretty good relationship with the guy. Then I said, well, okay. Who's he's in, the, he's who's? in media? I said, he's in media. Yeah, he's, he's big wig in media, man. He, you know, doing his thing all on social media, YouTube, like, does his private thing on his channel. Like, he's all over the place, right? He, he does a lot. Then I said, okay, who's passionate enough about Ben Roethlisberger that they would vote for him over a guy that almost lost his life? You know? <laughs> who, who would view an elbow injury the same as almost losing your life? But, you know, who, I said, who, who could, you know, have that much passion for this quarterback, for this guy. So I got to think it even more. I said, I do know a guy. I said, I know a guy that, that I've seen, you know, go to the ends of the earth battling for this guy. I've seen him tell me straight Pirates to my of the Caribbean, face, you know, you like know what I mean? Yeah. Flipping upside down a pirate ship like, going like, into like other worlds. To do whatever it takes <laughs> to find a way to justify. I've never heard quarterback rating and QBR spoken of differently. I've never heard completion percentage Versus pass completion ratio spoken of so so you know eloquently, but anytime it's time to discuss seven, we get a new statistic that is brought up by individuals. So I'm like, dang, all right. So now I'm starting to connect these dots. I said, all right, I got a guy who's tech savvy, I got a guy who's in the media, I got a guy who will absolutely do whatever it takes to make sure Ben is viewed as the GOAT, even though we saw another guy who at the time had six rings, four <laughs> MVPs in the Super Bowl, go and get a seventh Lombardi and get a fifth one. But that's neither here nor there. All right, cool. So I said, okay, okay, who could this guy be? And I had to narrow it down. <laughs> and then, just like any, you know, person would do that, that likes to let the world know how savvy they are when they get over on the system, they take the social media. <laughs> and my good friend that I that I thought it was goes by the name of Chillin' with Dick. <laughs> Not on one platform, multiple platforms, multiple platforms. My man Dick let us know <laughs> that he was the person that got that vote in somehow, some way. Had nothing to do with being tech savvy either. <laughs> Sent in an envelope, just all my votes. It must have just got mixed up, maybe. <laughs> I love it. Maybe it was something on the NFL's end. They messed up. They 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 flipped some envelopes. They meant to toss mine away. <laughs> Toss it in the official uh, ballot recording. Well, well, you know how it happened. What? Because, you know, they they were so bent. Because now we can say Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. But, you know, last week they were so bent on just tracking everybody's Super Bowl, you know, wording and phrasing right. and advertising 
that they overlooked that. But because we were already a part of the NFL's bubble of guys that we're looking at, you were already on the big table. And then from there, you yeah. know, an elbow gets bumped, yours That's goes I mean. into the good list instead of the bad list, and you're good to go. That's what I'm thinking happened. Yeah, and I don't know how many other people with my, I guess, ranking in life or just who they are, fans, or, you know, we, we just yeah. like the game, that's all, who are Absolutely. sending envelopes into the NFL. So that's, maybe I was like the only one. Yeah, I mean, is that's, that's a thing though. It's, it's, a, it's a legit thing. Like, you could go get the address. I forgot the address off the top of my head, but it's in New York. You good. Right, I just park you just, drive. You or see park a little Avenue. motivation, and yeah, a little, little Park Avenue. I think it's fourteen hundred Park Avenue, New York, New York. Yeah, just go hit it up, man. Yeah, send send him a letter. And, and while you're doing that, recommend you know the Arthur Most Experience with Deke podcast as the official podcast of the NFL. Next, I mean that's like the you know why you why you why you doing your list of recommendations, just throwing that out there. What yeah, you? I'll do it next time because I just hand wrote this one. Ah, okay, it, it was a little rushed. That's yeah, little it rushed. was. It was. But yeah, <laughs> I did think it was funny, man. But it was cool to see 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 your guy, you know, seven get the vote. I was like, all right, shout out. <laughs> did did anyone come down to it? Like, no one said anything yet, though. Yeah, we're, we're still waiting to see it. Like I said, we all thought it was going to be a Pittsburgh writer, but Ed Bruchette, no exaggeration, he definitely went up there to Twitter and put that out there that it was nobody in Pittsburgh from a media standpoint. So I'm just like, dude, who, who's about to take that? Who, who's about to raise their hand and say, I did it? That was me, because you know it's gonna look bad for them right now you think it will it will just because the comparison they, they they simply even that night they simply just went back to the whole wow i mean it wasn't unanimous but this guy almost lost his life and then they showed the heartfelt you know montage of everything and then he had the people talking for him and stuff like that i mean it was I a dope like, team, man. i feel like it could be hilarious if someone owns it though i feel like it would be too but you know for the uh the little bit buttoned up crowd the 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 not as loose and flowy as we are they they not gonna find it. That's my this is disrespectful to the integrity of the award, to the brand, to the shield. If you're gonna just vote for whoever like that, you might not deserve a vote anymore. Like that's yeah. It could look that way a little bit. I, just just showing devil's advocate, that's all. No, I get yeah. that, but then it comes down to I guess that person. Yeah. Whatever they want to do, it's their choice, but true. You could be a legend in that the, oh, the looser could. community. Yeah, like that would be could. funny. That'd be funny. You definitely as hell. could. So it's what do you want to do? Maybe he does have, maybe he does have like yeah. an inner circle though with those more button up people that could mess him up career wise well, down the line. I don't know. Typically, if you had to decide career wise, most of the time the more button up people are the ones that are gatekeepers. Yeah, whereas the that's more what I mean. Loose career, yeah. So so I don't know what he's thinking. Maybe wisely. yeah, <laughs> he's looking at all options. But I'm just letting him know if he comes out and he owns, it's like yeah, yeah. it is what it is. Thirty three touchdowns. I voted for Ben. What would it do? Like. He'd be looked highly upon with certain people for yeah. sure. Definitely me. I would I would give you a salute. No doubt. <laughs> Only because it was your guy. I, I'm with you, man. I'm with you. <laughs> Dude, but the the funniest thing was that tweet that I uh, sent out. It was yeah. like a quote tweet to it was it was exactly that. Yeah. It was some NFL account literally just flipping out, like, this is unbelievable. I can't believe someone would do this. And then I tweeted back saying, like, Oh, it was me. I put my prayer hands up. Basically saying after you, buddy. <laughs> Take, you're, you're, the, that account was just taking things way too yeah. seriously. A lot of those accounts were. It's they like, come on, do. relax. They he won do. the award. Chill. Yeah. It's not like he lost the award. The fact that it wasn't unanimous, that's only cool for paper standpoint. It's cool to talk about, but it had zero inkling on if you won the award or not. Like You don't have to be unanimous to win it. Just win it. That's all that matters. It's not going to ask you 20 years from now, is that award less valuable because it wasn't unanimous? Like, nah. And it is cool for Ben to officially have received a vote in one of these major categories now, since I take it that, you know, this is another year where he hasn't received the MVP vote, unless there was some type of, you know, surprise ballot vote last uh, over the weekend. I, I don't remember seeing it, though. Watch out for next year, though. Oh, okay. Okay, I got 